UConn students are demanding change, saying there's been racial tension on campus. The school says it will hire a chief diversity officer. Some students, though, say that is not enough. News 8's Bob Wilson was there while that rally was underway tonight. Well, tonight, some of the students on campus describing the mood as unsafe, as hostile. And they say they're going to try to rally, march, and make change. Let's do this. Power to who? Power to the people! About 200 UConn students standing in the rain, sending a message to the administration. They want change. And a lot of the time I feel isolated because when groups together get together to do homework or to do projects, I'm not invited because they identify with a group of people and I don't identify in those same groups. They say there is racial tension on campus and that they stand in solidarity with their brothers and sisters at Mizzou who rallied and marched and forced the administrator to resign. Now they're hoping to bring some of that change to UConn. We cannot come to a camp so we don't feel safe every single day, just hoping and waiting for a change. Now UConn put out a news release saying that back in June, they did put together a diversity task force. Matter of fact, they're going to hire a diversity officer out of those meetings. However, students say that's not enough. That was almost six months ago, and they're wondering if the management here is all talk or if they're going to act and make change. It doesn't take that long to make change if you truly want to. We've seen students occupying president's offices and whatnot in this last week, and they are demanding change, and it is happening. Students organizing the rally point to social media as the place where they feel most harassed. Anonymous sites, they say, are blasting hate. We're not asking for love here, or we're asking for us to feel safe on campuses. The students on campus say if this march and rally doesn't wake up the administration, they say they have other activities planned that hopefully will jar them into action. We're here on the Stores campus. Bob Wilson, News 8.